Let me take this opportunity to wish every stakeholder in the agriculture, fisheries, and forestry sectors a successful Wolf Food Day 2018. This day is celebrated every year around the world on October 16. The theme for this year's celebration is Our Action Are Our Future and a zero hunger world by 2030 is possible. This film speaks to the negative effect we are experiencing right now from climate change, which can impact our ability to meet our objective of a zero hunger world. Despite the many challenges we are faced with, the leadership within the Department of Agriculture has developed and are implementing programs to tackle the issue of food security for St. Lucia, whilst at the same time addressing the theme of this year's World Food Day celebration. We are seeing increase in productivity in agriculture. Cabinet has approved a proposed option for the restructured St. Lucia Marketing Board and St. Lucia Fish Marketing Cooperation. With the support of the government of Taiwan, very soon we shall commence a three-year import substitution project. The objective is to reduce the importation of seven vegetables we believe that can be grown on a sustainable basis in St. Lucia, namely tomatoes, sweet pepper, cucumbers, lettuce, cabbages, watermelon, and pineapple. We will see very soon the opening of the National Diagnostics Facility at Union, which will be home to two units of the Div Division of Agriculture and the Meteorological Unit of the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards. This facility will provide technical and analytical service to agriculture and the other major economic and productive sectors. We are in the process of reviewing the Agricultural Incentive Act. My ministry believes that there is a need to amend sections of the Act. This will make the application process smoother and faster. It is necessary to note that we have signed a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Agriculture of the Republic of Cuba and the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, Natural Resources, and Cooperative, establishing a general framework of technical cooperation in agricultural matters. As we celebrate World Food Day this year, agro-processing and value-added will be the area of focus. In light of this, we are expected to continue empowering groups and individuals regarding their involvement in agro-processing, encouraging the utilization of locally grown food and forest products will improve the livelihood of participants and increase the demand for their production. In keeping with our area of focus and to contradict the misinformation out there, let it be known that the government has established agro-processing facilities in Foasso and Angers. We are also supporting many private individuals with the establishment of their own facility by providing capacity building to processors and students at various schools. In closing, I would like to wish our most valued farmers, fisher folks, agro-processors and citizens in general a happy and productive World Food Day 2018 as we join the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries, Natural Resources and Cooperative and the international community in celebrating World Food Day 2018. I thank you.